and uh, Easter Monday and we've been staying here at the 10 Mile Rock. It's a parking area um, about 100 kilometers east of Norseman and the beautiful salmon gums I'll just show you now. Our site, so we've got the toilet, and you can see here the really lovely sun and guns and the smoke pit. This is the lookout at Manjura, Manjura, and we've had a picnic here, and now we'll just go over and have a look at the, uh, at, the at the view. So it's quite spectacular. The uh, coming down from the plateau onto the coastal plain, and you can see, you could imagine all these buffalo just out to a gaze here.
It's uh, day eight of our trip and we're just at, uh, we're just east of uh, Mandura. Had a nice camp out here. It was uh, pretty crowded overnight, but now you can see everyone has gone. So there were two caravans there and there were about five down there and there was one here and several over there. But now they're all gone. I'm a bit confused about the time because I put my watch on three quarters of an hour. But I've got different times on my iPad and my iPhone. So there's always that little bit of drama as you go up to the border into South Australia where it's one and a half hours more. So this is the Mudini, Mudini Bluff designated rest area. 24 hour stopping is allowed in this area but full camping facilities are not provided. Well in actual fact the toilets are pretty good. Um, found them quite satisfactory. So it's uh, quite clean. So I was able to make use of them without any drama. And you can see that we've set up the Starlink dish, disk here and we're getting good internet at the moment. Let's just see what the captain says. So are you enjoying your internet my dear? I am. It's only just come up. <laughs> so Has it? Well, well it um, did a reset. Um, keeps asking me to do a um, A, an update and then it sort of goes through all the reset and, and then the message comes up again. It's not telling me that the um, the dishy is stuck but, but anyway I'm, I'm get, we're getting quite good speed so hmm. Well it was good that we could put it out now because everyone's gone whereas when everyone was here people would be tripping into it and uh, mm. maybe even running over it so yeah well, I think it's safe enough because it's really close to us but uh, yeah 169 megabits it's pretty fast yeah okay. quite nice bird sounds apart from the ravens And time to put away the Starlink. It's quite a long cable. Oh, it's way too long for uh, RV use. Let's go up on the roof of the house. And in for packing. There's a lot of packing and unpacking when you do a trip. So I'll go and have my coffee.
coffee now. A nice weak coffee, that'll be good. How's it going, my dear? Brewing Cafe Susan here. Bit of stuff up on the bed. That's always the way, and then this is all cleared at night. So is, is it a very sweet moment to be enjoying your morning coffee? I think so, yes. Yes. Do you feel any different now that you're in South Australia? No, I just, well, it's part from the slight frustration that they don't signpost the pull-offs. That's right. Otherwise, it's just uh, quite a a milestone of the trip to have arrived. Mm. Battery's looking possibly rather low on that one too. Uh, I've, I do have the spare. It batteries. does say one hour and fourteen. Okay. <laughs> Whale Centre. We 
have been here in the past. We probably won't go this time because uh, there's no whales this time of the year, I don't think. Two of us left, and we'll be out on the road in a little while. 